Hey, this is Mark with Merchant on the Mark. I hope you're having a great day. And in this video, I'm going to continue in our series on the Walmart research tool that we've been using for our businesses internally. And we think it's great. And so uh, we want to share all the different ways that we're using this tool to find profitable products to resell on walmart.com, the Walmart marketplace. And again, if you're interested in this topic, selling on Walmart, uh, be sure and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so we'll know to develop more content like this. Also, if you have any questions that you see throughout the video, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave them down in the comments. I get back to all the comments and I'll do my best to answer those questions. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the software's uh, best sellers feature. So you're basically able to search by keyword or by uh, category um, and then be able to um, see all the results that come back and then sort it uh, based off your criteria. For example, if you were to search for Lego, you could then um, sort it from most sales to least sales. And then you could actually go in and say, I only want to see Legos that the price is over $100, uh, where there are three or more sellers. So you know that uh, Walmart's not the only seller or it's not a private label product. Now, Legos wouldn't typically be a private label seller. Um, that's just an example. But uh, generally speaking, if you're going to a more broad category, uh, if you have three or more sellers, that typically means that that is available to be resold but versus uh, um, one that's just sold by Walmart where you can't really get on their listing. So you could then, again, Legos, all prices over $100, sellers three or more. They have at least one review, so you know it's been in the system for a while. And uh, you could then go through and slice and dice the information to find exactly the types of products that you want to sell. So, for example, and with Legos, if it's $100 or more, typically speaking, um, a small small percentage of the Lego products are uh, priced over $100 at retail prices. So that might help you to understand if something's already popped, for example, for fourth quarter. And then you could look at those and see if you could source those products elsewhere, um, either in the wholesale arrangement or uh, drop ship that product from another source. Uh, it allows you to basically get to the information that you need to see very quickly by filtering down based off the criteria that you're uh, most interested in based on what you're trying to do. So for example, if you're trying to source a fourth quarter, that's completely different than trying to source for a private label product um, and find ideas. But uh, I thought this was extremely helpful and it, it really um, compares very well with Jungle Scout and Helium 10 on the Amazon side. Uh, but this is for Walmart. So Walmart is a tremendous opportunity. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Uh, I'll make more videos on this, but it's uh, been very good for our business. Okay. So with that, I appreciate you and uh, I'll see you in the computer. Hey guys, I'm in the back end of Data Spark again. And in this video, I want to show you the powerful tool that they have uh, that's called Advanced Search. So right here, you can see that. Um, and again, all you do on here is you enter in a general term here. It can be a product name, a Walmart ID, a URL, a generic um, brand name, and it will bring back the data. You can also add filters. So for example, if I only want to see, um, you know, ones with uh, sales rank, uh, or one with a current price greater than $100, I can enter that here. But, um, and then you can also add your sort where you can see sales rank. So you can see the best selling products first. Uh, and then the lesser selling products lower than that uh, down down the list. So you can sort by all these. But what I like to do is just search very generic right here. And again, I'm looking for Legos that I can go out and source uh, profitably. So I want to get that information uh, so I know exactly which models to go out there and search. So this brings back all of the Lego products. And so right here you can see it has thumbnails, number of reviews, um, the offer count, which is very important. I obviously don't want anything where the offer count is one. Uh, I don't really want ones where it has no rank. Um, and I don't want ones where the Walmart uh, 30 day buy box is, I would say, you know, above 50 or 60%. Um, so those are some things that I'm looking at. I'm also looking at the price. So I'm not going to be interested in anything, you know, this low of a price. I'm looking at things that are uh, $50 plus basically. And so what we can do over here on the uh, different uh, areas, we can add in some criteria. So I want price is 100 plus. Number of sellers, I want to be a minimum of three. And a, let's say a maximum of 20. Uh, rank, I don't really uh, worry with. Um, review rating, don't worry with. Number of reviews, I like them to have at least one. 
uh, and Walmart buy box percentage, I would say a max of uh, let's say 60%. And so it's going to go out there and use all these filters to then show me a subset of these products that I would more be interested in um, doing a little more research on. So this has just saved you a tremendous amount of time and you cannot do this on the Walmart website. Um, this allows you to quickly see uh, what types of products are the best sellers that fit your criteria and then instead of going through thousands of products you can just go through a handful maybe a dozen or, t or 20 and you can quickly uh, do searches to see if you can find sources for these products that are less than uh, what they're selling for and then you can take it a step further obviously and make sure that it fits into your um, your profitability um, criteria so for this just looking around I really like that these have uh, Walmart 30-day uh, buy boxes of under you know 60% that's really good because that means that they're not staying in stock of all those um, and so your competition will come and come and go uh, because as you know Walmart and Amazon they they can buy a thousand of a product like it's it's nothing and individual sellers or third-party sellers are going to buy um, lesser quantities of those products and so uh, and you alternate in the buy box so uh, you have more of an opportunity to get that sale um, than you would if you were going against a Walmart or an Amazon. Uh, the, the ratings are you know, important. I don't pay as much attention to them. I just want to see that they have some reviews. Um, this being over $100 does not mean that it's popped and, and it's already selling for more than its retail price, but it gives me um, a, a price range to work with. So uh, if it's over $100, you know, dollars, then I know that that's something that's going to probably give me the profit that I'm looking for. Uh, and so I'll just need to do some search then on Google to you know buy this Lego model number and try to find a source for that. Some cases we won't be able to find some. Some cases we will. Just like in in, in business on Amazon, when you're trying to look for products, a lot of times uh, you're not able to find products for a price that allows you to have profitability. But this allows you to uh, very quickly hone in on the types of products that you'd be most interested in, and then you can go out to the uh, Walmart website itself and see. A little more information about this particular product so 14 units for example is not going to be something I'm interested in uh, typically uh, unless I have you know a majority of the time I'm in the buy box uh, and I have a good profit on that we're looking for things that sell hundreds of units per month ideally but uh, this products product search uh, feature is really game-changing and it's something that I use every day when I'm looking for products to resell on on Walmart um, and the same products that sell well on Walmart are going to sell well on Amazon as well. So you can list them on both locations. And so um, this is the, the uh, advanced search functionality of DataSpark. And uh, I think you'll really like it if you're looking to sell on Walmart or are already selling on Walmart. So if uh, you're interested in this, you can set up a, a free account. Or if you want to get access to all the features of the tool, um, I have a link down in the description where you can get six um, six months at 50% off of your um, you know paid plan. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. And I hope you like this video. If you do uh, like it, and um, you know subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of um, uh, material. And again, with that, this is Mark with Mark Merchant on the Mark, and I appreciate you checking us out. And if I can help you, just let me know. Thanks.